design and manufacturing of UFOs by creating high-frequency magnetic fields or manufacturing of artificial anti-gravity. As is well known, the flow of electrons, or in other words, the electric current, can create magnetic folds in the solenoid. Magnetic folds can cause electrons to flow through solenoid and produce electric current too. Therefore, the following experiment can be presented. According to the video, it is clearly evident that if the electric current reaches a specific value, a magnetic field could be created that causes the object to lift off the ground. Indeed, the magnetic and electric fields have the homogeneity properties of energy. So magnetic energy is equal to electrical energy. On the other hand, the electromagnetic waves spectrum includes a wide range of frequencies that are all made of photons. These waves can be grouped into two categories, one made of single photons and the other of chained photons. The boundary between these two categories is actually visible light. In fact, the visible light region divides electromagnetic waves into two categories. One, waves of lower frequency than that of visible light, which are actually single photons. Two waves of higher frequency than that of visible light from where the chained photon region begins. So given the principle of photon as a basis for electromagnetic waves, like hydrogen as a basis for all other elements in the universe, although all electromagnetic waves are made of photon, their structure is divided into two categories of single and chained. And the electromagnetic waves spectrum that have a chained structure also have an elastic structure and more stability. In the previous article entitled New Discoveries about the Magnetic Folds, We have presented the results of an experiment whose aim was the experimental calculation of the frequency of magnetic waves. In the experiment, the frequency range taking into account the mass and the type of magnet was found to be between 10 to the power of 15 Hz to 10 to the power of 16 Hz.
Similarly, in another article entitled New Discoveries About Gravity, we dealt with the calculation of the frequency of gravitational waves whose frequency threshold was found to be 10 to the power of 18 Hz. Thus, a new electromagnetic spectrum diagram was presented with a new classification in which the magnetic waves are after visible and ultraviolet light. After that, there is the range of X-ray. Then, the gravitational waves. And finally, the range of the gamma ray. Therefore, considering the chain structure of both magnetic and gravitational waves, if we can change the frequency of magnetic waves and increase it to about 10 to the power of 18 Hz, approximately 100 times, we can say that we have created artificial gravitational waves, waves that have the ability to overcome gravity. For this purpose, we use the following formula. According to the written energy formulas, to create a frequency of 10 to the power of 18 Hz, the electrical energy relation can be easily used. If we increase the electric current 10 times, we can increase the frequency as much as 100 times. Therefore, to produce artificial gravity frequency, we need a system that can withstand at least 10 to 50 amperes of electric current. This system should be like of which it can pass through this current for a long time without damaging itself. To produce it, a troidal solenoid can be used, and to optimize it, a hollow central core made of iron or steel can be used in the middle. The following is a proposed design for an anti-gravity plate. This loop can be repeated in several layers within each other to achieve the appropriate power. With this method, we have created electromagnetic waves with a frequency in the range of 10 to the power of 18 Hz and higher gravitational waves range, so it can interact with gravitational waves. As a result, we can say that we have created anti-gravity waves. Notice one by changing the direction of electric current in the system, gravity or anti gravity can be created. Two, the best way to produce an anti-gravity plate or gravity is to use a troidal solenoid under it, which creates an interaction between the surface created by troidal solenoid and the surface of the Earth or planet. 
but a slight difference in gravity force between two edges of the anti-gravity plate can upset the balance. Therefore, in order to prevent the imbalance, the rotational movement of the troidal solenoid under the anti-gravity plate is necessary because the rotational motion balances the possible difference in gravity between the two edges of anti-gravity plate compare to each other and could balance it. Three, how to control and move anti-gravity plates. To drive the disc, it is enough to adjust the amount of current in each part and changes in the current intensity of each part cause it to change and move. Four, artificial gravitational waves created by changing the frequency of magnetic waves and like the strong repulsion and absorption of like and opposite magnet poles have the ability to strongly repel. or strongly absorb each other. Five, the production of this special magnet, which is actually artificial gravity, requires the movement of electrons. Therefore, the best option of energy source is electron tank, as explained in the previous articles. Electron tank is electron storage with a mass around 1 to 10 kg, which has the ability of storing approximately 10 to the power of 16 joules energy, so it can be a proper power supply for this system. If the structure of a UFO is made in the most optimal form, it could move in water and space at a fraction of the speed of light.